think Malachi's was uh, a great example of he had a play very similar to that the week before. He didn't make the play. And we talked about, hey, Malachi, you gotta, you, you gotta, those are the plays you gotta make if you're gonna get interceptions or turnovers. And he made an elite of timing of the ball, a jump, caught the ball highest point. Really, really great play. He forced out. Uh, disguises, uh, tackling the open field, uh, being a leader. Uh, I think he's he's taken ownership and improving in a lot of ways. And you know, I go back and watch last year's game. Every team we played that we repeat, and you get to see him as a freshman to now, and it jumps out at you that like, oh man, he got really nervous last year and, and, and was really struggling. And he's you know more confident, understands the defense better, uh, but still a lot of things he can improve on. But when you watch him last year in this game, he was he was certainly uh, uh, nervous. Um, well, I've been around some thumpers, and I think of all the guys, uh, the Mark Barons and the Ha uh, Ha and Dix and, and, and Dom Sanders here, and uh, Lewis, you know, Chris and Richard. And he's really different than all those guys. He's he's probably the one guy that if he had to, he could go out there and play corner if he had to. I mean, he's got a coverage skill set and speed skill set um, that most safeties don't have. He's a good tackler. Maybe not as physical as those guys in terms of knockback tackles, but he's a good tackler. Uh, and he's got good range, very intelligent. No, yeah, no doubt. Uh, so like I said, multiple times, I think he's a real special player. I think I'm going to get to see that for the next uh, couple of years. Real special player. Uh, looking forward to going, I, I look forward to going out there to see him make a real exciting player every weekend. So i say it's, it's really, it really, it really benefits my game just knowing that you know I have guys on the back end that can make you know those those extraordinary plays like he did last week. Um, so whenever I go into a game, you know I, I, I go in very comfortable knowing that you know my back end guys are going to be right there with me, you know, no matter the call. Uh, it was every single day. Uh, this us being able to come out and take the ball away how we did. I think this year we still didn't take it away how we wanted to. But it was a huge difference. Going up and getting that interception after you almost had one last week, how good did it feel to come down with that and, and know that you had secured it? Um, it felt good. Uh, I, told, I told everybody I went, that's another opportunity. Uh, so when I saw it on the air, I knew I had to get it. So just being able to come down with it. Um, and kind of being the same situation it was last week. Um, thank you for all I've done. Fourth and a half, and I had tech running to get outside the so I had wide in there. Um, there was another person running on the scene, so I didn't want to overshoot him. And I, mean, I was waiting for the quarterback. I was reading him to see uh, where the ball was going to go. And when he had, when he had um, released with his arms, I, I had saw he was taking a very different approach from the scene, so I knew it was going to work. So I had broke on it, um, and I, I went to go hop on it and make sure I was really guessing at the top. What does it feel like to put the spike pads on? It's becoming a Georgia tradition, right? Like, what is it like to go through that? Um, I mean, it's awesome. You know, you work so hard uh, as a defense and as an individual. Um, and, I mean, you watch, you watch Georgia football and you say that, and you're like, I'm going to do that one day. So, I mean, it's very special. Um, and I think um, it's a great opportunity.